Uh, it's Keen again from the Strep Space. Got some more breathing tips for you during these times, building off our, our last video, which touched on the nervous system and, and breath quality. And, in, and I'm receiving more oxygen and more energy and more life. Uh, one thing I want to touch on is, is the exhale. So there's a few ways to exhale. You know, number one is just letting go. Just letting it fall out completely. That's a really beautiful way to let go of control because we, there can be a lot of, um, you know, we want to control things right now. Things are very uncertain. Um, but it's always a balance of controlling some things and letting go of control and other things. And this is an opportunity to let go of control and allow the breath to move through us because we don't really know what, what we can get from breathing. We, we might think we know, but the, the breath has its own way of teaching us if we are willing to just let go. Now there are times and places for controlling the breath and it, this could be a time when you feel very stressed, you feel really activated and you want a way to regulate that as quick as possible and that can be a good time to do some mindfulness breathing, just breathing in and doing a slow exhale. I might start my practice with that sometimes. Inhaling. This helps to slow down the breathing. What's happening today is more, more, more than likely many people are starting to breathe a bit faster, more accelerated, shallow. As we get activated from the news and what's going on. And slowing down the breathing is the quickest way to let the nervous system know that we're safe. Because the breath is the quickest way we know to regulate the nervous system. Usually, if there's a real threat, such as a bear, what will happen is we'll usually inhale through the mouth. It tells the body to get ready for action. The blood will go from the core to the extremity so we can move or fight. And now there's a a different type of a fight going on that's it's, uh, it's not as urgent but it's very consistent over many many days if the threat is not there let's say it's, it's not actually a bear it's maybe a big dog usually we'll sigh and that tells the nervous system that we're safe again so the breath is the key to regulating the nervous system so in the morning, let's start off the day right and let's start off, I might recommend a little bit of the mindful breath, breathing in, breathing out slow. This is a controlled breathing technique. I'm intentionally controlling the nervous system. Reduces the number of breath cycles per minute. If I breathe in three or four, three seconds, let's say, and I breathe out seven, that's 10 seconds. Six breaths is a minute. So that's six breaths per minute. That's a good place to be starting off the day. Now from here, I might go into a different breath practice that's actually letting go of control. Because then I don't actually know what I need. I think the breath is, it knows the breath is healing. The breath is what keeps us alive. So I'm gonna breathe in fully and let go and then see what happens. This can be in the nose, it can also be in the mouth. I won't even go into the details right now about the difference. If you're breathing consciously, it's good. Now what are some other benefits besides the nervous system um, balancing? Because we need to balance the nervous system. If we're very much sympathetic fight or flight, we need to balance that with very, very relaxed parasympathetic. So the nervous system goes between both sides of being active, being relaxed. That's the first thing that's very important from rhythmic breathing, conscious breathing practice. Second thing is we are circulating blood and nutrients and fluids. We're 70% water, a lot of the water is in our, our belly and we're starting to move around nutrients and blood and 
That's really good for the organs. We're massaging the organs. We're also strengthening the diaphragm. Parachute shaped muscle under the ribs. Arguably the most important muscle in the body. Certainly one of them. Can't do much in life without it. Strengthen it to its full range rather than little range. Just like if I was in the gym doing curls like this, you might think it's a little funny. So you want to train the whole range. And the diaphragm needs to be trained this way too. As we do that, we start to detoxify. We exhale a lot of moisture and toxins from the body. Oh, we're building self-awareness. We're tuning into our breath, which is our internal environment, rather than external, what's going on out there. And there's a lot going on out there right now. So it's becoming even more important. We'll leave it at that. There's many more benefits, but enjoy your practice and check in. Let me know if you have any questions.